because you you bang 17 girls in college. I was going to parties all the time. I was drinking a lot. I don't think seven. I can do 17 in a month now. I don't think that's that's signs of a natural. What's up, guys? It's John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, I want to go over the progression of my results, okay, in which cities I lived in as those results progressed, okay? So you'll see the different cities around the world where I lived and approximately what lay count, okay, was following me at those times. Okay, before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already uh, for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Please press the notification bell for those updates so that you are alerted to those new videos. Okay, also a special announcement, my first ever joint roast, me and Bradicus are roasting Krauser PUA tomorrow, okay, live. That will be at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, okay, at noon Eastern Time. It will be a YouTube live on my channel, okay, we're going to light up that fuck Krauser PUA, okay, who's been talking shit on us for bad reason, okay. Um, so mark that. You can click on the channel and set a reminder, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to schedule it, and then you can set a reminder so that you can be alerted. It's at 12 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Okay, so um, currently I'm 36 years old. I'm living in Florianopolis, Brazil. Uh, I made a bunch of notes here. My current lay count is 1,256, okay, 1,256 total girls. Um, that is exact. I keep very, very, very close track. Okay, I lost my virginity at the end of my freshman year of college. Okay, so that brings us all the way back to May 2002. Okay, I was 18. Okay, so May 2002, living, living in New York at one lay count, okay? Graduated college in New York, 2005, undergraduate at 17 girls, okay? And some guys are like, oh, that means you're a natural because you, you bang 17 girls in college. I was going to parties all the time. I was drinking a lot. I don't think seven, I can do 17 in a month now. I don't think that's, that's signs of a natural. Um, okay, then I did a little bit more work. Um, in graduate school, in terms of getting the numbers up, I moved to Philadelphia to take that nuclear missile defense job in 2007. So I did a graduate program in New York, and I did a, I did a second master's program in England, and then I moved to Philadelphia in February 2007. Now, <clears throat> I hit the first night that I started doing game um, was February 24th, 2009. Okay, I was living in Philadelphia. I just put out a video recently where I go over. Um, basically the, the field report of that night. And uh, at that point, I had been with 61 girls, okay? And then June 2012, that's when I hit my first 100. So June 2012, still living in Philadelphia, I hit my first 100, okay? And that's when I took an RST boot camp. I was at 103 Lays. I took it with Tyler and Todd at the end of June 2012. Okay, then I made a big splash on the forums. That's when I started going hardcore at this stuff. But please note, Literally, from 2002 to 2012, it took me 10 years to hit my first 100, okay? And we'll pop up uh, on one of these sides here, my lay count graph, okay, that's going to show that basically an exponential progression for, you know, more or less. January 2013, I moved to Las Vegas, okay? I, had, I was around 150 then, okay? And actually, no, I think I, I hit 150, I think, in Philly, like shortly before moving to Las Vegas because... I had this challenge to myself on the forums. For those of you that followed me back in the day, I had a shirt that had 150 stick figures of girls on it. And on the back, it said JMOV with the, with the number 150. And I wore that out. And the goal was to pick up a girl that was a 9 plus on camera while wearing the shirt. Okay, and this was like my first infield. And it took a couple of weeks, okay, because either the girl wasn't hot enough or like the shirt would fuck it up or whatever, right? Um, so I moved to Vegas around 150 count in the beginning of 2013. I lived in Vegas for a year. I moved to San Diego, California, January 2014 at around 260 count, okay? And I hit, I remember I hit 300 in May of 2014. Okay, that's over six years ago. That's when I hit 300 count. I remember we had a, a party. For those of you that have seen the movie 300, we played that movie and people dressed up as Spartans and it was a fun time for all. And each guy, each soldier that died in that movie, because there's 300 soldiers, represented a different girl banged. Okay, so then, moving right along, I stayed in San Diego. Well, 
I hit 400 in about February 2015 in San Diego. Okay, and then in August, I moved with the girlfriend that I had at that time uh, to Miami. So we moved from San Diego to Miami. Um, that only lasted a few months in Miami. I ended up uh, moving back to New York. And then and keep in mind, there's all kinds of like trips happening in between. Okay, these are just places I was living. There's all kinds of places I was visiting in the meantime um, all around the world. Um, let's see. And then, okay, so I was in New York. Then, then I moved uh, the early of 2016, I moved to Puerto Rico. Okay, and while in Puerto Rico, um, I remember because I gave a Hitachi away, one of those Hitachi Magic Wand vibrators. I gave that away to Girl 600. It was a 19 year old stripper, okay, that I pulled from the strip club there. Um, let's see, February 2017, I moved back to, to New York and I lived in Manhattan for like a month and filmed a whole shitload of infield. Um, then that summer, that's when I did the door to door sales job. That's where I moved to Texas. Okay, I was living in. Um, Fort Worth, Texas, and Lubbock, Texas. Then I moved to Kiev, Ukraine. Okay, I was in Ukraine August. Well, I was in Texas June to August 2017. In Ukraine, August, November 2017. Then on the way back from Ukraine, I stopped in Portugal for one night to visit a friend. I ended up banging another stripper. Okay, there's a lot of strippers in my past, usually ending in mega flames and tragedy. Uh, but I met a stripper who actually happened to be Brazilian. Okay. And that became my girlfriend. She was half Japanese, half Brazilian, pretty Asian face, nice Brazilian body. That was, um, November, 2017 to about January, 2018. Then I moved to North Carolina. Okay. Those of you that remember back in the day on my channel, Sonny Arvado, him and I were doing Muay Thai and hitting the weights in North Carolina. Um, in March of that year, we went to Medellin, Colombia, and then the following month, I went to Bogota and met up with Alex from Playing With Fire. But while in North Carolina in that spring of 2018, that's when I hit 777, I remember, because I bought a shirt with, it was Lucky Sevens on it, 777 lay count. Um, fast forward to, uh, and this is where I was like really, really cranking volume. Okay, so, um, I hit 77 pretty early on in the, in the year of 2018. Then I was up to 900 already by uh, July 2018. Okay, for that's when I went to Warsaw, Poland, and that's where I was. Um, I was training a guy. Let's see. I remember I banged an undercover Polish reporter, and she said she was 920. Uh, I either arrived in the late 800s or early. Early 900, I think early 900s, around 900 to Warsaw. Um, then I moved to New York. Okay, so that was Ju that was June, July-ish, 2018. Then I moved back to, um, I stayed there all through 2019. In, in 2019, September, I moved back to New York. And that's actually where I, I fucking uh, went to handle the alcohol problem that I developed from years and years of parading around the clubs, drunk as fuck. Um, and I quit alcohol in September 2019. And then, um, let's see, I moved to, well, originally it was supposed to be a vacation in Florianopolis, Brazil at 1189 count in February 2020. And that brings me currently to 1,256, okay? And I will link in the description Okay, I have a video because guys are always like, I've been, I've been hearing this a lot lately, especially from new guys to the channel. How do we know that you're not lying? That number is really high. How do we know that, you know, this stuff is, leg that is legitimate, that what you say happened has happened? So I made a video back in the, you know, this was maybe like, I think I made it last year. Okay. And this was, it's, an over, it's over an hour long, but I go through all the different methods of backup and proof that I have to convince you that it is true. I take this count very seriously. It is exact. Okay. Um, and I go through in that video, the link will be in the description. It's just another content video. There's nothing being sold. <laughs> and guys are, cause guys are always like, what, what are you promoting? Uh, okay. So watch that. That shows 
all the proof. I posted over 200 girls in a row on Instagram. Okay, I had over 100 infield pulls by 2014 on camera, hidden camera infield pulls. Um, I've been posting in forums with other advanced guys for years where I, I post, you know, or WhatsApp groups, I should say, where I show like each clothes, like, and guys that have spent, you know, months with me or periods of weeks, they see me absolutely destroying. Okay, even the RSD instructors, Jeffy and Todd, I would pull usually two out of the three nights on their programs with hot girls, and they all got to witness that. That it's no, they're not hiding anything. Okay, that I literally have nothing to hide. Tomorrow, um, Bradicus and I are gonna fucking light up Krauser, who's saying that since my lay count is so high, it must be all hookers because I banged some girls off seeking arrangement. Okay, which is a sugar daddy site, but you can bang the girls for free there, much like you can bang strippers who are working for free as well. Okay, at, when they're off work at a later time. Okay, and Bradicus has shown a shitload of proof as well, but I wanted to make this video to show the areas that I lived and kind of the lay count progression, and we'll put up the lay count graph one more time, and you can see it's mostly an exponential. There were seven uh, monogamous girlfriends mixed in there, which is why you have some of the inconsistencies. I had a post back in the day in RST Nation that showed if I remove the girlfriends, it becomes almost exactly a perfect exponential graph. Okay, so dare to dream. You see, and, and this, a lot of this I had to figure out on my own, okay? So, well, you know, look how it took me 10 years to the first 100. And then from my best year was 246 from July 2017 to July 2018. Okay, so, and then I, you know, so I was able to do 2.5x my first 10 year, my first count of my ten, first 10 years, that count is able to do 2.5x in my best year, okay? This is a skill game. Things are, are getting easier and easier. Now, guys that are getting my training in modern day, okay, I'm going to put out a big testimonial soon. This one dude said he got more results in his first week using my stuff, my paid stuff, than he has in his whole life. Okay, now he has two to three weeks in, he has like an amazing full package chick. Okay, so the process, it's like this telescoping nature, not just for my results, but for the teachings as well. Okay, and I also will put, if you're interested in the, in the description, uh, you can book a free 30-minute strategy call, okay, that we will diagnose exactly where you're at in game. We'll ask you a bunch of questions in the application. What's your age? How many girls you've been with? What's your biggest sticking points? Um, what are your goals in game, etc.? And then we will get on the phone with you for a half-hour call. We will spell out exactly what you need to do, where the priorities need to be, etc. It's all free, no obligation. And then we will tell you how we can help you with a paid solution, okay? Please do not get on that call with one of our coaches if you are broke, Okay, please do not waste our time or yours. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in. Please subscribe if you have not already. Tune in tomorrow for the roast of Nick Krauser, Krauser PUA, on uh, my channel at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, thank you guys so much. Make sure you check out that link as well where I prove how I fucked over a thousand girls and sign up for that free 30 minute strategy call if you want to take things to the next level. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you on the next video. And also at the very, very end, I link to two free training videos, which you can watch as well. Thank you very much. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.